What's up everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm a former F-15 E combat fighter pilot, F-16 Thunderbird pilot, and current commercial pilot. I break down epic aviation videos and scenes from Top Gun Maverick. Obviously, you can hit me up on Instagram, say hello, or send me any other ideas for videos. Before we get into this Maverick test run scene, please go ahead, drop me that like button for me. Maybe even consider subscribing. Every time you like and subscribe, a pilot somewhere gets their wings. Let's dive in. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I love the beginning of this because Admiral Cyclone, as you probably know by now, he's kind of the uh, let's just call them a stick in the mud and that's putting it relatively nicely So this is gonna just completely destroy every sense of reality that Admiral Cyclone has and as we go through this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about my leadership experience with different leaders as I operated the F-15E and then eventually on the Thunderbirds operating the F-16 There's so many personality differences and Trust me, it takes all types, but this type of leader is someone who's going to be shocked by Maverick. So Admiral Cyclone, everything in his body is telling him to take more of the safe route. Take more of the route that adds another star that gets you up another level. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. We need those people as well, but we need them to be balanced out with a little bit of fun, a little bit of Max Afterburner, a little bit of Maverick. Maverick to range control. Entering point alpha. Confirm green range. Uh, Maverick, range control. Uh, green range is confirmed. I don't see an event scheduled for you, sir. So a lot of times the range operators, they're not going to be as cool as this. They're going to be like, hey, dude, you didn't sign up. I've got the airspace taken by someone else. Sorry, go uh, fly somewhere else. But you know, Maverick, he's like the VIP of the entire Navy. So of course they're gonna clear the range for him and make it good to go. But uh, yeah, a lot of times flying out at Nellis Air Force Base, man, it was so packed out there and so crowded that, you know, good luck trying to squeeze something in last minute. But hey, maybe this is like a Saturday or something and the range was empty. Maverick was done riding his motorcycle and he's like, all right, this is the day where I put it all on the line. Well, I'm going anyway. Nice. I love the attitude of Phoenix. She is like the type of pilot that I loved raging with, like going out, flying missions with someone who has that attitude that appreciates a little bit of rebelliousness. Those are absolutely the other fighter pilots that I got along with the best. The ones that were more like Admiral Cyclone that just tried to kind of preserve the status quo, not rock the boat. I didn't get along with those too much, but I like that they just tuned into her for a second and she's like, Mavericks, my guy. You know, someone who can appreciate that bit of rebelliousness, taking some risks, that's who you want on your wing during combat. You don't want anybody who plays it too safe, but then obviously you don't want to go too far where someone's taking unnecessary risks. What you want to do is you want to thread that needle and hit the sweet spot, and I think that's represented really well in Phoenix's character. Setting time to target, two minutes, 15 seconds. 2.15, that's impossible. File attack point. All right, so looking at Admiral Cyclone's face right here, this is perfect, and this highlights exactly what I was talking about before. Every sense of reality right now is being completely destroyed by Maverick. So everything that Admiral Cyclone has built his life around is essentially being destroyed and crumbled before his eyes, and he's in front of this group of other aviators that he would like to mold and shape and create into what he wants, and he doesn't want them necessarily looking up to Maverick, thinking that taking risks like that can actually be good. He wants to keep things calm, cool, collected in his mind and keep his little kingdom, his little fiefdom, if you will, protected. So <laughs> that look on his face is classic. Maverick's inbound.
All right, we're back to the face of Admiral Cyclone. And the thing I'll say is a quick side story for you guys. So I was on the Thunderbirds and they were out filming Captain Marvel. So there was a huge Hollywood film crew and they were filming some scenes of the Thunderbirds taking off and some of the other jets at Nellis. And I was taking off. So I was taking off single ship following the Thunderbird Diamond as the instructor to chase and watch the new students operate and clear them to go solo. And I was taking off and I thought, hey, Hollywood's here filming this. What could be cooler? What could we do to up the game a little bit, take a little bit of a risk? What could be you know, something that looks awesome on camera potentially? I wanna put the smoke on on a takeoff. And <laughs> that's not a normal technique. However, it was a windy day. I knew it would blow away pretty quick and it's gonna look cooler than potentially just a regular F-16 taken off. So that's what I did. I threw the smoke on for my takeoff. I held it off the deck about, I don't know, 15 or 20 feet. And at the end, I just ripped it up and the smoke kind of hit, hit the desert floor and kicked up a whole bunch of dust. I mean, I looked behind me, in my mind, it looked super sick. And I think on camera, it looked cool. However, my boss, little known to me, my boss had the exact look on his face like Cyclone does right now, because he was on the flight line watching this happen. He was kind of leading the Hollywood crew around. And when I got back, I uh, was called into his office and I was made to stand at attention. Imagine that, uh, Neo getting in trouble. Nah, never happened before. This was the first time, I swear. <laughs> so I get called into his office. He stands me up at attention. He's like, what made you think that was a good idea? And I was like, I don't know. I just took a little bit of a risk because I thought it might be cool. It was a windy day. It's not gonna block the visuals of the runway for anyone else. Hey, I thought I'd just give it a shot, sir, and see if it worked out. And if not, then we can do another takeoff without the smoke. And his face looked just like this because again, he is prevention oriented where he's protecting his fiefdom and trying to make the next rank. Now again, nothing wrong with that. We need both types. We need the Maverick type, we need the Cyclone type. But it was just this moment where I just stood there and I was like, in my mind, I was like, this is good for you because you're seeing someone taking risks who doesn't necessarily care about making the next rank. And all I really care about is doing well for my teammates making an impression on people that's positive and hopefully making some epic footage for Hollywood. And at the end of the day, you know, it takes all types. So I love seeing this look on my boss's face. And again, we needed each other, right? I need him, he needs me. We need to balance things out. You can't have too much of one or the other. level flying like this is so much fun. This is when you're an athlete. You're moving just like this. So Tom Cruise in the scene is doing a good job. You are leaning into the turns. You're doing certain things with your head to keep the HUD, the heads up display in view. So you're moving, baby. It's a lot of fun. You can see those G-forces pulling Tom Cruise's face down. I'm pretty sure that's why he looks so young. It's the G-forces. I think there's just something special about seeing someone who's your instructor taking risks and doing something that is ballsy, you know? Taking a move that could not pay off for them and potentially get them fired just garners a lot of respect. Someone who's more in it for the team than for their own promotion. Pumping in three, two, one. Away. 
Bullseye, come on. We gotta say Shaq. No more of this Bullseye stuff. Shaq just sounds way cooler and Shaq was one of my favorite Wizzos. I paused it right here on Admiral Warlock because Admirals like this, generals like this, who appreciate someone like Maverick who takes risks, in my opinion, these are the folks that are the heartbeat and the backbone of fighter aviation. They're continually pushing aviators forward to take risks. They're taking care of people at the same time. And this is the type of leader you wanna be like. Lucky for me, I got to have a leader just like this. His name was Fangs, he was an F-22 pilot, and he was my boss at the very end of leaving the Air Force. He essentially made me the chief of innovation at Nellis Air Force Base and was like, hey, I want you to go to these conferences, learn innovative things, learn entrepreneurial techniques and tactics and come back and teach it to fighter pilots at the base. Just epic, right? That's thinking differently. It's thinking outside the box. So you can tell that Admiral Warlock is that necessary balance to the, let's just say the suck of Admiral Cyclone. And then overall there, it showed Maverick going down the chute, getting his pot on target, taking a track, locking it on, releasing weapons. Is that possible? Absolutely. Best technique? No, you probably want a Wizzo doing that so that you could focus on threats going on around you, you could focus on the terrain and things like that. But overall, I just like the fact that they had this in the film because it shows the strength of taking risks, pushing yourself and maybe even being a little bit of a rebel. And the last thing I'll leave you with is when I was standing at attention and my boss was calling me out for taking that risk I told you about earlier, he was like, Neo, you're a rebel without a cause. And in my mind, I was like, you know what? He's right about the rebel part. And of course I didn't say this to his face, but I said in my mind, you're right about the rebel part, but my cause is to sometimes just do things for the story with the team in mind that push us a little further, that make us go a little deeper, make us think a little more about what we could do more effectively to fly air shows and then eventually to target the enemy to win. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day is being innovative, taking calculated risks and just being calm, cool and collected as you execute it and potentially run in to those that wanna stop you and hold you back. So I hope you can apply that to whatever job it is that you're up to, whether you're flying F-18s or whether you're going, getting ready for your next board meeting. This attitude, this mindset of driving yourself forward, pushing others to think deeper is one that served me well and not a guarantee, but it could potentially serve others well as well. Thanks so much for being here guys. Before you go, please dominate that like button for me. Maybe even subscribe. Every time you like and subscribe, a pilot somewhere gets their wings. Thanks for being here. Most of all, have a great day.